Good evening, 4-3. Tonight we're going to start with Lesson 17, Module 3. I can represent and solve division problems requiring decomposing a remainder in the tens. So boys and girls, we're still going to go back and use that place value chart, but we're going to start breaking down a 10 and making the 10 go into the ones column to help us with division. So let's get started. So our first problem tonight is 73 divided by 2. And again, when we see a problem like this, a division problem when it's set up like this, we don't read it 2 divided by 73. We read it 73 divided by 2, just like the way this looks. So we want to start putting in our place value chart, our 10s and our 1s. But before we do that, we're going to break up our chart here and I'm just going to make a line here and another line here and these are two lines because we're showing it's dividing by two so we're going to make this into two groups because we're dividing by two so how many tens we have we have seven tens so we're one two three four five six seven and how many ones do we have? We have three ones. One, two, three. So now we're going to break up this seven, and because we're going to divide it, and we're going to spread them apart into two groups. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means we were able to... Um, get rid of 6 and we are left with this 1 10 and this 10 we are going to decompose and we're going to give it to the ones and we're going to put 10 ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 because we had 10 10 left over we have to give it now to the ones well, how does that look now in our standard algorithm? Well, we broke up our two, our seven into two groups, and that gave us three in each group. So we're going to put this here. Three in each group, and then we do three times two. Because we have three in each group and there's two groups, it becomes a six. And now when we subtract these, we get one. So we have one ten left over, which was right here, but we decomposed it and made ten ones. So now we are left with thirteen in the ones column, just like we have over here in the standard algorithm. So what we have to do now is break apart the ones because we're going to divide the ones up and put them in two equal groups, because that's what we're doing. We're dividing by two. So here we go. Let's take 13 ones and divide it by two um, and put them in two equal groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, because if we put 13, that means they would not be equal. So we have used up 12 ones it's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and we are left with one left over one remainder so in these groups right here we've got two groups of six so how much do we have in one group we have six and we have two groups so six times two is twelve and we subtract this and we are left with one just like over here, we're left with one. So this becomes 36 remainder one. So our quotient, which is our answer to our division problem, is 36, and we have a remainder, remainder of one. Now, how to check this, again, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So we're gonna take this number and multiply it with this number. 36 times 2 is 12, carry the 1, it's 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 1 
becomes 7. But again, over here is 73, and this is the number that we want. And we got a 72. It's because we need to add the remainder, like we did last time. And we get 73. So look, there's our match. We have a 73, and I got a 73 when we checked. So, check. We did a good job on this one. Let's try a next one. So now we have more of the same, and we got 62 divided by 4. Again, this is the way it looks like that we read it. But over here, we're reading it the same way, but we're reading it kind of backwards. So remember, this is not 4 divided by 62. This is 62 divided by 4. So be careful of that, how we say it. So now we're going to actually split up our 6 into our 6 tens. We're going to look at that in our place value chart. All right, well, first let's split up our place value chart. And we're going to do this into four equal groups because we're dividing by four. So let's uh, separate this a little bit. There's our one and two. This is three and this is four. So we are showing that we have four equal groups because we're dividing by four. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put um, our 60 and make this into six tens in our place value chart. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have two ones, one, two. And we are going to now take that and divide it by four. So we're going to split up these six into four equal groups. So we've got one, two, three, four, So we used four tens, but we're still left with two tens. And what we need to do is we need to decompose these and bring them back into the ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have another one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we are left with 22 ones. So what does that look like over here in our standard form? Well, we have six tens, and we've, oh, we, we split it up into four equal groups. So we have one in each group. So 4 goes into 6 one time, because we've got 1 in each group, and that gives us 4. And since we took away the 4 tens, we are now left with 2 tens. But since we cashed them in, and we, sorry, not cashed them in, excuse me, we decomposed them into 1s, we are now left with 22 ones, and that's what we have in our place value chart. So now we need to take those uh, 22 ones and split, split them up into four equal groups. All right, so let's take these 22 ones and split them up into four equal groups. So we've got, let's, let's change the color here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we are able to split them up and put 20 ones into four equal groups. So that means we used all of these ones and we are left over with just two ones left. How much are in each group? We have five in each group, we were able to split up 22 ones into four equal groups, which gave us five in each group. And which gave us five in each group, and five times four, that gives us 20. And we have two left over. So it becomes 15, remainder two.
So our quotient is 15, and we have 2 left over. Now, it's very important to make sure that we are checking our work. And how we check our work is do the inverse operation. Since we're dividing, we're going to multiply. So we are going to multiply this number times this number. So 15 times 4, and that's 20, carry the 2. 1 times 4 is 4, plus the 2 is 60. But if you notice, 60 is not what this number is inside that says, the 62. That's because we need to add our remainder, plus 2, and we have an answer of 62, which is exactly what that is. So we can say check to this one. All right, our next problem is 84 divided by 3. So we notice that we are dividing by 3, so we're going to set ourselves up with 3 groups. There's our first group, our second, and our third group. And we are now going to place our, our 80 and make it into 8 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 tens, and we're splitting that 8 tens in and putting them into three equal groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we won't be able to move on because then it would be 7 and 8, and then this last group right here would not be able to have one. So we have to be able to split them equally amongst three groups. So that means we just hat took away one, two, three, four, five, six, six tens, and we are left with two tens. So over here in our standard algorithm, we've got three into eight. We were able to say we've got two groups, I'm sorry, two in each of those three groups, which gives us now six, and we're left with two tens, just like we have over here. But now we need to do is give, uh, take apart the 84 and give us four ones. It's one, two, three, four. And then we need to decompose these two and then put them into ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have twenty-four ones. So if I bring down my four, that's exactly what I have now. I have twenty-four ones, but I have to split them up into three equal groups. So here we go. Let's split them up into three equal groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24. Well, would you look at that? We are actually even. There's nothing left over. So we were able to use all of the ones. So how many are in each group? There are eight in each group. And three groups of eight is 24 and we have nothing left in the ones as a remainder. So our quotient is 28 and there's no remainder. So how do we check our work? Because that is really important. Well, we multiply the, this number times this outer number. 28 times 3 
8 times 3 is 24, put the 4, carry the 2, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and there's no remainder to add. So this is our answer, and that's what this answer is. So we were able to find this problem using place value chart and standard division. Check. I can and I will. Guys, keep persevering. Keep be believing your, in yourself. And try these next problems. I know you can do it. Our first problem is 54 divided by 2. Please use the place value chart and the standard algorithm to help you figure out the answer. And you should not be getting anything wrong tonight because you are going to make sure that you check your answer by doing the inverse operation, which is multiplication. In our next problem, it's 48 divided by 3. Um, please use the place value chart and standard algorithm to help you figure out the answer. To help you give the quotient, see if there's a remainder. And most of all, please make sure you are checking, because if you check and you get it right, you're on your way to get 100 tonight. I think that rhymes. Our last problem tonight is 74 divided by 2. Please use the place value chart to help you figure out the quotient and to see if there's a remainder or not. And uh, make sure you're using the standard algorithm as you're filling in the place value chart. And most importantly, to make sure you're trying to get 100 on tonight's video, be sure to check. All right, excellent job tonight, guys. I'm glad you never gave up. You persevered, and you gained a little bit more knowledge of place value charts with division. And figuring out a little bit more about division's standard algorithm. Have a wonderful night.